Hey there, it's Alex here. Have you ever wondered how to maintain your Facebook fan page without a lot of time and effort on your part? Well, that's what I'm about to show you. And so this all stemmed from a post that I made yesterday on Facebook. Uh, went on Facebook on my profile and I posted something and I said, hey, are you wondering how to keep your, uh, your, your Facebook page updated and all this stuff? So you can kind of read that here and I said if you want to know post a coffee gift right in the comments and you could see a lot of people wanted to know how this all worked out and that's why I'm creating this video so I got a bunch of comments there so that's what we're gonna to do today in this video I'm gonna show you the exact process that I use to automate some of my Facebook page engagement get likes on the fan page and get uh, get visitors to my website and lastly get opt-ins to my website. I'm doing that automatically. It's something that I actually set up months ago. Uh, it was it was quite a while ago that I set this up, but it's still working for me. It's still giving me the benefit uh, that I was after. And so uh, very helpful. So I'm gonna share, share with you exactly how I set that up, how it's working for me, and how you can go ahead and set it up as well. So if you're ready for that, then let's get started. The first thing that I wanna show you is going into the actual fan page that I'm doing this with because I want to share with you that this is a fan page that I created a while ago. Sorry, had some technical issues here. So this is a website. This is a this is a fan page that I created a while ago. It's called the Christian Business Academy. And I'll be honest with you, this is probably my latest post that I actually did. So you can see the date, May 22nd, 2017 however it's getting all these updates on a regular basis so you can see here that i'm get 27 likes get some engagement 46 likes there's some that are 43 82 people liking commenting 65 112 it's not a big page but the thing about this is that i haven't touched this for over two years so that's what i'm going to share with with you so the way that i set this up is I used a tool, totally free. It's called If This Then That. So if we go to that site now, if that page now, I'll show you that right now. So you go to If This Then That, right? And this is a free tool. You can sign up absolutely free. And you're going to want this tool because with this tool, it allows you to set up automations that you set once and it runs kind of on autopilot, right? So that's where we're at right now. This is If This Then That. And I want to show you the exact thing that I set up. So I went into if this and that. And what I did, what I decided to do is I said, anytime that a post from a specific site in this industry, in this niche, in this, uh, in this market, anytime a post is made on a blog that I follow or that might have contain great content, I want that to publish automatically on my Facebook page. So that's exactly what I did. So I came over here and I created what's called an applet here on if this and that an applet is basically a program it runs an automation you could say so what you're, what we're looking at is right here this one here and so you can kind of see how it's set up if a new feed item goes from this blog here crossroadcoach.com forward slash feed then create a link post on christian business academy fan page we know that it's a fan page because right now we are in the Facebook fan page settings. So you can see here, these are other fan page automations that are available to you. But the one that I'm showing you right now in particular is this one that I used on the Christian Business Academy. So you can see that basically every single week and you can see published by if this then that September 18th. Then this one here is September 25th. This one here is October 2nd. I haven't personally touched this page in over two years and yet you can see I still get new likes I'm getting traffic over to the site so eight likes this week I haven't touched this in two years but it's being it's being updated on a weekly basis you can see I'm getting com I'm getting comments on there so if you have a stagnant page or a page that you're not actually managing now I'm not this is not an active business for me but the people that are engaged on this page are still, still very much relevant to me and what I do and things like that. And so this is a great opportunity to set up automation, get the engagement, get the free traffic to my website, get the opt-ins, and then via email, I'll start nurturing those relationships 
into what I'm currently doing. So that's how this is all set up, okay? So let's get into the setup process. So you can see I'm using this fan page uh, applet. And again, I'm coming here and I set up this page. So if you see how it's set up, this is exactly the settings and I'm going to set one up for from scratch so you can see. All right. So I'm linking two different services, an RSS feed linked with a Facebook fan page. Now I could do this with a WordPress page. Anytime you post on your WordPress, it can go out to Facebook. It can go out to Twitter, whatever you want to do. In this case, I'm taking a feed to somebody else's content. Anytime they update it, it's sent to my fan page. So I set this all up. Um, and then you can see when I set this up. December 2016, almost three years ago, it's run 168 times. That means that I've updated this fan page, the Christian Business Academy fan page, 168 times in three years without touching a thing. I set this up, took me about two or three minutes, and I was good to go. Now, here's the setup. Again, I'm going to start one from scratch in just a moment. But if you're watching here and you're liking this, give me a comment, drop a comment, let me know you're liking this. Cause I got more stuff that I can teach you on this. So here's, here's the setup. It's the feed URL. Most blogs, most podcast sites, they have this extension called the feed at the end. So you can go to alexnavas.com, my site forward slash feed. It's going to do this. You can go to fampreneur.com, one of my other sites. And anytime I update it, it's updated via the feed. Podcasts use the feed in order to get their podcast over to iTunes, that type of thing. So anytime there's a new update on this feed, I wanted to create a post link, a link post using the, their link. So you can see it's their link here, right? It, this is where it's posting, but this is Crossroad Coach. This is their link, right? And so the way that I wanted to show is great posts from this page. So I'm giving them credit. I don't want to claim that it's my content. It's not. So I'm giving them full credit. I want them to get the credit for this. So you can see great posts from whatever. You can write whatever you want here. I love the tips shared on this post, you know, but in this case, I'm sharing their feed content, which is their link. And I'm also giving their fan page some love as well. That's what I decided to do. So that's how I set this up. Okay. So that's it. And then once I do that, save, and I can run it instantly. So once I save it, I can run it at any time. It's connected, good to go. All right, so how do we set this up from scratch, right? So I go to my Facebook fan page. So I don't have this set up right now, but let's go to my Facebook fan page. So we come over here and this is my Facebook fan page for, um, for Alex Navas, my personal brand. I don't have any of this set up yet, right? So that's what we're gonna do here. So I have this other window, this other browser window, because this is with one, if this and that account for Christian Business Academy. This is a new account for Alex Nava, so my personal brand. So here is the setup. Once you have your if this and that account, you're gonna start at the dashboard, the home page. Once you log in, it's just loading for a moment. This is what it looks like. So this is the step-by-step -step of how to actually implement this. So I go to explore at the top right. And then you'll see under the search bar, it says make your own applet. That's what I want to do. I'm going to add the plus sign. Now, if something happens, then something else happens, right? So the if this part, this is where I set up the feed. So I'm going to do RSS. So if a new feed item from a certain URL, and in this case, I'm going to go to Amy Porterfield. She has great content all the time. She has her podcast that she updates every week. So I'm going to go to Amy Porterfield and I'm going to use her feed. So let's go over here. And remember, you have to add feed at the end in order for it to start capturing. Now, what does that look like on the back end? Because there's not a feed page on her site. So you're not going to see a beautiful feed page just like this. Nice graphic design text. What it actually looks like is this. And it tells you all the different updates. So, for example, here's the update on October 10th. Here's another update from, okay, here's the 10th. If I go down here, here's the 3rd. If I go down here, here's the 26th. These are all her updates on her site. So that's what I'm going to use. So that's, so that's what's going to happen. That's the trigger. 
if a, the trigger happened, then what? Okay, so now I'm going to go to Facebook and I'm going to select page links. Then create a link post. Entry URL is basically this, this here. It's the URL for that particular post. So in this case, I, I believe it's going to be this. 2009, let's see here. So yeah, so this is a particular page with a particular post, okay? So that's the entry URL. And then uh, um, this is what I want it to look like. Love Amy's podcast. Check it out. Okay. And so then once I set that up, then what I want to do, I just want to make sure I check the settings here, make sure everything is as it should be. Okay, so feed, link, and then, okay, entry content. So here's, here's what I want, create the action. And now we're done. So literally it took a minute maybe. Okay, so there you have it. It's created now. Now I'm gonna go back in here and it's taking a little bit to load, but what'll happen, I don't know if it's gonna happen immediately. I'm trying to get back here, but I can click update now and it'll show you the actual update hit my fan page right away. I don't know if it's done it automatically, but I can actually manually tap to update the first time I set it up so that it happens, so that it runs. But every time, every week, that there's a new update on Amy Porterfield's podcast or website or blog or whatever the case is, that's gonna hit my fan page right away, okay? So that's how this works. Pretty simple, pretty easy. This is something you can definitely do. Yeah, and for some reason it's not, I can't go back for some reason. Uh, let's check now. Okay, so this, this update was from, her last post was, let's see, just this morning, but it happened in the past, so it's not gonna hit, but next week, it's gonna run automatically and that's gonna update my fan page. Now, there's a lot you can do from there. You can engage with people, you can get people to like your stuff, you can get people to go over to your opt-in. All that stuff is how to, how to leverage what we're doing here. This video is simply to show you how to do it. If you wanna know more and how to maximize this, then I wanna invite you over to the Fanpreneur group. So I'll type that in the chat here so you have it. It's if you go to fanpreneurtribe.com, it's in the comments here, but if you're watching this elsewhere, if you're watching it on the page that I'm setting up for this video, click on the link below, you're gonna be invited to the Fanpreneur Tribe Facebook group. And if you do that, we're gonna get into how to maximize this, right? Now what to do? You set it up, how do I create more opportunity? How do I get opt-ins? How do I get people to like it? This is just a setup, and that's what I wanted to show you here, but there's more to this. So join the group, Click the link or click the button below. Join the group because we're going to deep dive into this. This is just one of the strategies that I share with the content maximization system. It's a program that I'm releasing in a couple of weeks. It's There's no set launch date or anything like that. I'm just simply sharing with you something that's going to be valuable to you to make social media, make your marketing far easier, far simpler without the manual process, the hustle and grind that uh, often is thought to be required to do great marketing it's not required but anyway this should be helpful it's one step towards simplifying your social media and your marketing if this was valuable let me know post a comment let me know go on facebook and let me know hey was on the content maximization video this is my number one tip or go to ig and tag me do it in your story take a picture of this that you're watching this video and say my number one takeaway from this Facebook Live is blank and then tag me at Alex Navas Pro. If this was helpful, let me know about it. Otherwise, um, I won't know and I'll, I won't know exactly what you're looking for on how to simplify your marketing. So anyway, that's all I got. Join the group, fanpreneurtribe.com. Also go to social media, take a picture and tag me, letting me know the number one takeaway that you got out of this training. Thanks a lot and I'll talk to you soon.